you know, August is a big month at uh, Drinkwell Museum, and uh, Erin is here with us this morning, and she brought in a special guest. Uh, Erin, before we get into all of that, I'm going to have you uh, uh, tell us uh, your name, title, um, owner of Drinkwell. I mean, anything you want to throw in there, and we'll uh, introduce sure. Adam here in a second. Absolutely. I'm Erin Wanninger, and I'm the associate director of the Friends of Drakewell. We're the fundraising organization that works alongside the museum staff to raise money for them to hold events and to really make a lot of what they do possible. Great. Thank you for that, by the way, because uh, we have people that are like, there's so much going on there, and, and there's that Erin, and she looks familiar, and uh, so <laughs> yeah, we like to do that. Mm -hmm. And Erin, you've been busy there, and there's been a lot going on, and yeah, can't wait to summer. get into that. Mm -hmm. uh, Adam, introduce yourself. Uh, sure. Um, uh, thanks for having me, Luke. Uh, this, I'm, I'm Adam Peterson. I'm the uh, Drakewell Marathon uh, race director. Um, I've been, I grew up here in Titusville my whole life, and and always happy to help the community out the best I can. All right. Well, let's get into it. The uh, Drakewell Marathon is uh, coming up. Adam, how long have you been uh, running this event? Uh, since 20... Uh, <laughs> running. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good Very good. Uh, since uh, 2013. Wow. Yep. And every year's a little different, huh? It is. Yes, it is. Uh, the last two, um, you know, 2020, 20, 2020 and 2021, we had to uh, shut it down because of the pandemic. But we're back this year and, and looking forward to it. It's really uh, developed quite a following uh, over the years. Mm -hmm. uh, and you think, oh, okay, a lot of local people coming from the, the, the region or maybe northwest Pennsylvania, but people from all over have signed up for this event. That's correct. Um, I'm always surprised with uh, how far they come to little Titusville from all, all across the, uh, the country. So I'm very, I'm kind of very proud of that and very, uh, very happy for that. Yeah. Well, so when you took over, Adam, uh, what what sort of changes did you make and, and what did you uh, kind of implement yourself and because I, I think it was run a couple years prior to that maybe oh or yes did, yeah okay yeah it was um, a while back in I believe 2009 or 2010 even sooner um, uh, well before me it was uh, Titusville Leisure Services uh, they they tried their hand at it and then um, I took it from them um, and I changed the course I made it a Boston qualifier um, and a, a few changes, but yeah. we'll get into that, yeah. Well, I, I like it. I would made it a Boston uh, qualifier. Like, that's an easy thing. I mean... It was not easy. No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, a lot of work has gone into mm -hmm. that. Uh, Aaron, how exciting is it to, to just kind of know that this is part of, of uh, an event that, that you host and um, that yeah. it is part of the Boston qualifier? It's really exciting, and I think that's what brings so many people from all over the country to Drakewell and to Titusville for the race. Every single registration that comes in, both Adam and I get an email, and it tells us where the person's from and mm -hmm. some other information about them, and I love to open them and see, because the majority so are what? not from here. Mm -hmm. They're from yeah. all over the country, mm -hmm. and I really think it's the reputation, the course, but also, the, yeah, the Boston Qualifier, which isn't it? I think it's every five years we have to reapply for that, is uh, that right? Yes, so it'll be um, uh, coming up in 2025. Wow. Mm -hmm. So right. It's a big expense, but it mm -hmm. seems like it... I'd be curious to find out from the participants if it's the mm -hmm. make or break thing for them, right? bringing them here. Well, we do know, uh, just based off of conversations in the past, that a lot of folks just love the beauty mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. they just love the environment that they're, they're running in. Is that what you hear a lot about? I, I really do, yes. Um, uh, the first seven miles is through town, uh, uh, mainly down Main Street to see all the, um, the, the older houses and, and beauty of that. And also the um, absolute uh, beauty of the Old Creek, Old Creek uh, bike trail, and running down down and back the uh, Old Creek. So mm -hmm. it's um, it's a big uh, it's a big, it's a big deal for for runners. I think that was interesting, Aaron. Uh, just talking with Adam Dean from the Roughneck Group, uh, getting the input from the the cyclists. They had sort mm -hmm. of the same types of uh, comments, mm -hmm. and I kept thinking that's like that's like talking to folks who run the marathon. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. they just we don't realize what we have here. It's just yeah. so beautiful, mm -hmm. but it's also it's peaceful. And compared to big cities where you run these races, it's a different environment. I think it's really we have a lot to tell. To. Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. What about uh, and let's let's uh, brag about Adam here for a second. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how about the people running the event, actually knowing what. You yes. know what to do and what's going on. They have the experience and the expertise, mm -hmm. and they do a fantastic job. We're gonna pretend yes. you're not here, so just. <laughs> so I, when I first took on this job, I found out that you know we had two big, a marathon and a trail run that we ran every year, and I have no experience with that. I can appreciate it, but I definitely have no race directing mm -hmm. experience. But luckily, I found out that we also hire race directors, and I've been so impressed. You know, both with Jacob for the trail run, and mm -hmm. now with Adam, he's just 
he really helped Jacob too with the planning. And it's just nice to know that he's taking care of all the pieces. He calls me and says, can we pay for this? I say, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we move ahead with the next thing. But I, it's, it's a huge weight off of us. And the friends of Drake Well are just very thankful for him. It's almost 10 years he's been doing this as a fundraiser, which then in turn through sponsorships from our community brings money back to the friends. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. Uh, Adam, for you, uh, when do you start planning for, you know, the, the upcoming, uh, event and, um, how much goes into it? Uh, I always start the, uh, every January, um, uh, starting slow with, um, just getting the registration open and just getting the word out. Uh, and then, um, uh, busiest time is roughly, um, June and July, of course, and that's where we really get the marketing out, the advertising out, and start buying all the uh, the swag, they call it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do, are you taking notes the, the day of the event, or, the, or do you kind of sit back the next day and say, okay, next year? we got to? Uh, oh, no, I, I, t I definitely take notes. Um, for example, um, every year is a little different. Every year has its challenges. Uh, however, 2019 was, I call it my like a foundation year because... Fortunately, nothing went wrong, and, every, and everybody loved everything that went, went on, and so I took a lot of notes of what I did and what I didn't do. So I'm trying to uh, copy that for this year. Do you, what do you do? Do you try to mix anything up year to year, or do people expect sort of the same layout and same course? I mean, how does that part work? Oh, it definitely has to be the same course, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, but they did, they, um, personally, I'm more of a trail runner, and but I know what roadrunners enjoy, and so I really try to uh, get the uh, the colors correct with what they would uh, would, would like. And um, uh, for example, the, the cups this year, I, cha I changed everything with um, getting rid of the paper cups on the course. And so now we have a, a little, I, guess I, I call it a collapsible, collapsible uh, race cup, so that runners can just have that with them the entire time. Oh, nice. And not waste uh, up to, 3,000 cups. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a little bit of a, a help, isn't it? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah, and the, and the cups are cool. They're made by REI, and or th they were sold through REI, mm -hmm. and they're very, I think the runners will like them as mm -hmm. swag, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. And then mm -hmm. they'll get to keep them? Yep. Oh, definitely, yeah. Oh, see, that's... Yeah, they're that's little cool. rubber, light as a feather. Yeah, little then, silicone cups. Oh, silicone. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Um it must be interesting uh, to kind of go through and, and discover stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. you, you know, taking the challenges or how can we improve? Mm -hmm. Even the littlest thing sounds mm -hmm. like it could be a big help. It is, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, now, is it too late to sign up? Uh, definitely not. Um, I, it is uh, too late to sign up to guarantee a shirt, even though I had to order a few extra. Um, depends on your size, I might have it. Uh, but it's definitely not too late to sign up. We sign up... Um, um, even on race day, you can have you come in, you can okay. have a walk in and sign up and enjoy the enjoy the run. All right, and the event is when August fourteenth. August fourteenth. Yep. Seven. And just so you know, Michael, our site administrator, is planning to still run that race. He did mm. move from the full marathon down yeah. to the half marathon, right. but we'll be cheering mm. him on that day, mm -hmm. and we're happy for him. Great. Mm -hmm. Has he been out practicing? Who knows? No training. <laughs> we'll <laughs> who, find out. Who cares? He's just going to do it. <laughs> right. That's great. Uh, but it's nice to see. I mean, everybody's having fun with it, right? Yeah. Uh, so if somebody decides that day that they want to come and do it, where should they show up? Um, come a little early. Come around, uh, I would say, 6 o'clock a.m. on Sunday morning to, um, to register, uh, sign up, and uh, get ready for the 7 a.m. start. And that's down at Drake Well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Yep. All right. So do that. But, but you know what? Don't do that. Sign up ahead of time. <laughs> right. Right. Save us some work. <laughs> save, yep. Yeah. Save a ton of work mm -hmm. and uh, and do that. Um, oh, can I mention our yeah. virtual option this year? That's mm -hmm. one new thing that Adam innovated mm -hmm. this year was the addition of a virtual marathon. So it's not a Boston qualifier, but it does allow people mm -hmm. to support us anywhere in the country. Mm -hmm. They can run and just send in their race results, and mm -hmm. they still get a T-shirt and other gear. Mm -hmm. well, that's, so it's yeah. a fun option. It really is. And yeah. that was a big thing during COVID, right? All yeah. the virtual yeah. Exactly. races. Yeah. I, so that's cool that you're keeping that or, or mm -hmm. adding that as part yeah. of this. Yeah, but I added it and I will keep it. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's it wonderful. allows us to be flexible mm -hmm. and not have to cancel mm -hmm. in the future. Hopefully, there's never anything like that again. But I think all organizations have learned we have to be ready yeah. for anything. Yeah. So, not too late to sign up. There's yeah. still time. Uh, do that. Hurry up, though, and, and, right. and sign up. And that's coming up on the 14th of August. Yes. That's just mm -hmm. a couple weeks away. It is. But I'll add one very, very important thing. I will say the most important thing is our volunteers. So, uh, this event cannot happen at all without our, our volunteers. 
So I definitely appreciate that very much. Um, and I do, um, uh, I have just about enough right now, but you know how it is. Um, I would like to have a few more. So if anybody would like to um, volunteer on that day, um, it could be up to two hours. Up, no, no, no matter what, you'll be done by 1.30 in the afternoon, no matter okay. what you volunteer for. Wonderful. So uh, do they get a hold of Drake Well or you or how does that? They, either, either one. Okay. Um, uh, Drake Well, and then those give me my, give them my email, um, whatever works. Yeah. All right. Be a volunteer. It's, a, it's also yeah. a lot of fun doing that, right? And then you can yell at Michael mm -hmm. as he's running past. are so wonderful. Mm -hmm. We're so they lucky. Yeah. We're very, very mm -hmm. fortunate, yes. Uh, you're watching the Morning Drill on Stream Television and on Armstrong's Neighborhood Channel and listening to it on the Allegheny News Talk Sports Network. Friends from uh, Drake Well joining us here this morning. Well, Aaron, uh, you got that going on. August yeah. is also a pretty busy month for you guys. Mm -hmm. Some it celebrations. Is. Yeah, Drake Days is coming up at the end of the month. Um, August 27th marks the 153rd anniversary of the Drake Well oil strike. So just like we do every day, every year, I should say, it's a free day mm -hmm. for our members. They can all come for free that day. We have enhanced celebrations and things throughout the day. Um, we are hoping to unveil a new exhibit that's going to be a temporary exhibit that's all about the history of um, racing and motorsports, specifically Pennsylvania-focused, yeah. so Quaker State, and how they um, sponsored all of the race teams. We have so much memorabilia we've collected over the past couple years and begin, have begun to archive, so it will become part of our permanent collection. Um, Sue Bates is leading that up, our curator, and we're hoping to have that exhibit done. It's tight with, you know, we're running camp up and through today, so it's just to get a whole exhibit up and ready for in a month will be a big challenge. You guys are insane. It's <laughs> yes, regardless, we'll have a, it'll be a really fun day at the well, um, <laughs> and we encourage everyone to come out that day. We're planning to have um, Bruce Peterson volunteering and serving hot dogs and things like that. And just just a good day yeah that's gonna be great yeah yeah and like i said we did just finish um camp today is the final day sarah um goodman our educators there at the site right now meeting the kids mm -hmm. and um a smaller group today just about a half dozen last week there were 22. it really depends on the week and what wow. else is happening but it's just she's doing such a great job and we brought in people like clay peck um trucking do a touch of truck with the kids and they got to learn about the way that fuel transports goods um she's brought in dcnr and all kinds of really great education opportunities and the kids just get to play mm. in the creek too and mm. have fun That's <laughs> and eat so there it's been great but yeah it's busy up and through the end of this month and then we'll jump right into marathon and drake days and it's still our normal bu very busy tourist season yeah we're how's the summer been great great we're seeing really high visitation both at drakewell and pit hole pit hole's been double numbers wild cutter days oh. had twice as many people as previous years so everyone's very happy i think to be back out and about and we're seeing the benefit of that yeah it's crazy uh i've heard more about pit hole this summer than i think i ever have mm -hmm. in my life i mean that's good people just, yeah people excited mm -hmm. to go out mm -hmm. and, and and just tour and, and as you said just to get out um mm -hmm. and then you know we hear from you know the folks at the oc and t and they're having great numbers and um it, is it interesting to to kind of talk and, and meet those folks who are coming in to visit who might not be from around here? Yes, I always ask everyone. In fact, at Wildcatter, every single person that came to Wildcatter Day at Pit Hill, we ask, you know, how did you find out about this? Where are you from? We always, and we try to encourage those conversations. And it's always, you know, Drake Will's on our bucket list, or we don't know, some people don't know anything about it and hear that it's a local historic site and come, you kind of hear all different reasons, but most people, it's a bucket list item for them. And they're traveling from all over the country. Normally we see a lot of international visits. That's one thing that we have not seen return yet at the same capacity at all. Um, and we'll hope for that for the future, of course. But yeah, mm -hmm. it's even just every single day on days we're closed, the amount of people that drive down our driveway and take mm -hmm. their picture with a placard, with a Drake well, and you stop them and talk to them about it. It's because they have to make this on their trip. Wow, that's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, and then big plans in the fall. Yeah, in fall we have, um, oh gosh, gas ups on September 10th, I believe this year. I, I, so that's gonna, we do an annual fall and spring gas up. That's also a free day for our members. And we'll have, that'll be a meetup for the Pioneer Steam and Gas Engine Society. And then um, just so everyone knows, our tickets to Lantern Tours, which is going to be on October 1st at Pit Hole, and possibly October 2nd as well, if we can get enough volunteers, um, we will be 
starting starting to sell those tickets on August 27th at Drake Day. So Ooh. members and everyone that comes to that will have first dibs mm-hmm. <laughs> on tickets. Last year they sold out in just three days and we're expecting mm-hmm. the same. So we want to make sure people know that August 27th date, as soon as we sell them that day, then they'll hit online. And that's where they really sold fast last year. Yeah. Uh, you know, it tells you, you got quite the event when, when there's scalpers outside. <laughs> um, I mean, it's, it's incredible. And it I, is. It's know. a 90 minute living history tour. That's also kind of rugged and adventurous. And yeah. it's not just a walking tour. We almost have about paying the $400 for the, the tickets. So, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so again, uh, you can check out the website, you can go to Facebook and mm-hmm. see all the uh, upcoming events and um, get ready. Uh, it, th- it sounds like this would be a great time to become a member. It is actually, yeah, now our membership is a year re- membership. So from the day you sign up, you get a whole entire year of membership instead of entering in June like we used to. Um, that gets you admission to Drakewell and Pithole, plus copies of our newsletter, um, a copy of our magazine that comes out each year which just about is just about to be printed and a variety of free events for members including our um, petroleum series which is called wisdom and wine and a variety of member events i'd say membership pays for itself twice to three times over easily yep. especially for people who live locally and just so your members know you can get a gr- or your viewers know <laughs> you they could future, be members. Future members. <laughs> yes. um, you can gift memberships. We see a lot of people who gift grandparent That's memberships. or Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. people do them yearly for someone in their life. And so we send a card to that person and let them know. That's wonderful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and not to mention uh, the gift shop. I mean, if you're looking for some great gift ideas. Mm-hmm. Can I tell you something that's mm-hmm. coming to the gift shop? Yes. <laughs> so we just, um, Vicki Rupersberg, she's our store manager. She just sat down with Roscato Roasters. Mm-hmm. And we're going to be having three different kinds of coffee available in the store, whole bean for p- visitors to purchase, a McClintock, a Pithole, and a Drakewell blend for each. Really? So they're working on that That's partnership fantastic. so that, you know, visitors always want to take something home. And you get mm-hmm. sick of bringing home the same old thing. But we mm-hmm. see that, like, the Military Museum, for example, the Pennsylvania Military Museum, they partner with a local roaster. Mm. And so Riscato is really happy about the partnership, and we'll have such easy access to you know, filling up on more when we need it. Wow. And it helps us spread the word about, you know, Titusville. So, all right. That yeah. sounds like we need to add some coffee to our collection. Oh, uh, yeah, you could. So let me know when you get it. Okay. And we'll have new merchandise too. We had, we worked with um, Bull Moose Marketing out of Meadville and did a whole line of new merchandise that we're currently working on having printed and t-shirts, mugs, everything. Mm-hmm. Really cool, kind of state parky looking design that I think our members will like. All right. Yeah. Forget so about, much. you know, <laughs> stressing out on Christmas shopping. You can mm-hmm. just go down there and get all your stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's wonderful. All right. And, and, and real quick, Adam brought up the importance of volunteers. Obviously, there's a lot of folks who help out at Drakewell. Um, mm-hmm. and, and they love doing it. And when people come and visit, they do such a great job. Yes. Um, we have dozens and dozens of members who volunteer in all kinds of capacities at all of our sites. Everything from the greeters at the front door to the people who do our gardening. Um, gosh, there's so many things, acting, music, anything that you're interested in, There's a, we have a rule for you at Drakewell. And we do try to recognize our volunteers. We really felt sad during the pandemic when we couldn't as much. But coming up on September 7th, we're going to be letting them know that at Fall Gas Up, at the end of that, we're going to have our special member picnic where we get to recognize them again this year. That's great. Finally. <laughs> uh, did they ever find Jerry Knickerbocker? I mean, he was out wandering in, through the woods those yeah. past couple of years, right? But they found him. You know, him, Jerry, right? did, he did awesome. Mm-hmm. At the, he came out to the trail run and did the whole thing. Mm-hmm. And he's one of our greatest volunteers. He's been out at Pit Hill almost every weekend guiding tours. Mm-hmm. He is a beast. He yes. is amazing. Yes, we yeah. really think the world of him. Yep, he's been with me every single year, too. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, well, Adam, last uh, plug here, uh, Drakewell Marathon. Coming up. That's right. Yep, August 14th, mm-hmm. 7 a.m. Sh- uh, uh, sharp. <laughs> and uh, whether you want to run, volunteer, mm-hmm. there's some opportunities to get involved somehow. Yes. Uh, just get a hold of Drake Well, and um, they can set you up mm-hmm. with Adam yeah. and go from there. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the phone number, website? Uh, phone page? number for Drake Well Museum is 814-827-2797. Our website's www.drakewell.org. Aaron, Adam, good to see you this morning. Thanks, Thanks for your time. You. Best of luck with everything. Sounds Appreciate like August is going to be pretty busy mm-hmm. at Drakewell. All right, mm-hmm. thank you. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.